I was into electronics before I was into music. Actually, I got my first computer the same year I got my first musical instrument. It was this tiny little uh, Radio Shack computer that had 2K of memory yeah. and chiclet keys. Then they had the school the day where they were, where they said, hey, uh, pick an instrument, you know, you can be part of the band. And uh, I picked the flute, which was great at nine. It wasn't so cool at 12, so then I switched to sax. I was at college, uh, I went to Grambling, they had a studio, and I wanted to know about the studio. You know, I played sax, I was in the band there, I knew a lot of the music, but it was like there was this whole, you know, hierarchy of cool kids that got to do stuff in the studio, and you know, and if you weren't part of that, that little clique, you didn't get to get it, go in the studio very often. I quit, and I went to, I moved to Atlanta, and I started street performing. Being able to play every day and paying your rent with it by going out every day for eight hours a day and playing, you know, it really helped a lot. I found a wind MIDI controller in a pawn shop when I was living in Atlanta. And uh, I was like, okay, I gotta do this. You know, you're playing eight hours a day and you're hearing the same sound over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it was, dry, you know, driving me insane. So to have this instrument like, wow, I can plug this into a synthesizer and get any sound I want. The ability to be able to have uh, all of those sounds, you know, and to be able to make sound the way that you want it, that was really um, inviting. This is the interim uh, mouthpiece uh, or mouth interface. I basically attached my mouthpiece to a wireless headset mic. Uh, I designed this so that it would stay locked in when I when I bought onto it, um, and I'd be able to articulate well. I decided to create basically just a sensor network that would. Um, take what I'm doing and send it to the computer. The key was that, uh, was the, um, the Arduino platform because uh, it was uh, inexpensive enough and it was, um, it was actually fast enough. I have four force sensing resistors that measure the, uh, the pressure that I'm putting on and then I have a joystick for the thumb. With the accelerometer that's there, it allows me to, um, to be able to use my hand position to kind of uh, manipulate uh, certain data and then to play other things. You know, when you're holding an instrument, you're holding an instrument. You realize you're holding something. With this, once you're concentrated on the music, you don't, you're not holding it. It's just attached to you. So it's like having your hand here and it's like, okay, what can I do with this? Most of this stuff is sourced from SparkFun. It was really cool to be able to go to the site and to see these things, you know, when you think, hmm, I need something that does this, and to go there and to be able to see that this does this. It's like, okay, well, you know what, we'll actually not just sell, like, the accelerometers. We'll design a breakout board for the accelerometer so that you can hook it up, you know. That was really... Uh, a big deal with this project. My name is Onyx Ashanti and I'm a beat jazz musician.